Hello water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your, the one who goes to view tarot reading. We're going to be looking at this person who suddenly disappeared without a trace, like a ghost, what they were thinking and what they're doing and why they do this. Um, so this can be for the water signs watching and also if this, uh, if you're dealing with a water sign as well, um, this reading can be for you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let's jump into the reading and see what's coming up. Water signs, the one who ghosted you. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so we've got Leo energy, Aries energy, and a Gemini, possibly a Taurus here coming up here as well. So if you've dealt with one of these signs, this person has come up. Okay, I'm really drawn to the lovers because I feel like this person had really strong feelings for you. Um, okay, so there was a very strong connection on their end towards you. I'm seeing a strong attraction. I'm seeing love. I'm seeing this person thought you were the real deal, okay? Um, the hangman and the fool seven of wands they were angry about a situation they possibly wanted to move faster than you you probably didn't want that um what assigns the energy that you're projecting is a seven of cups so it makes me think that you possibly gave them mixed signals yourself um, or you didn't know what you wanted in this connection okay you're a little bit lost you were trying to find your feelings trying to understand what's going on in terms of how you feel uh, but actually, it's pushed this person away, and that's why I feel like they've done the ghosting. I feel like with the Seven of Wands, there's resistance. So it's like they didn't want to disappear entirely, but they thought it was for the benefit to do that. Okay, because, you know, they, they thought you, was, you guys were soulmates or twin flames. This is that real deal connection. So they obviously saw you guys together. They envisioned a future relationship, um, or they saw you guys moving moving things to that stage. Uh, but I want to say in your uncertainty, you know, they probably got confused. Maybe you were involved with your past here. So if you were still talking to an ex or, you know, they knew you still had some sort of connection to an ex, maybe they felt like they were going to be the rebound in a situation and they were like, no, I'm not doing this. This person still recently broke up. You know, they're obviously still attached to their person. So I think that's why I'm seeing some resistance because we have the hangman here. So I get... They were, I mean, it could be them. They might have still been hung up about an ex themselves, hung up about a person. Um, I get it might have been you were still hung up about someone here, water signs. If you projected that energy, it scared them away. Again, I feel like they did it against their will. Like, they might have had people around them say, you know, they're still involved. They're giving you mixed signals. Just leave because there's resistance. So I don't get that they were too happy to disappear, to just vanish, to block, to unfriend, to defriend, you know. I get that it was something that they sort of had an internal battle with, but they didn't want to hurt their ego. We've got ego here as the Queen of Wands. So, you know, they didn't want to hurt their pride. They thought, I'd rather keep my pride, keep my dignity and just disconnect with this person entirely. So... You know, I feel like they probably maybe thought you were going to do it first. Um, for some of you, it's like this person had a hunch like, oh, they're going to ghost me. They're going to disappear. They're going to go back to their ex. So they had these thoughts in their mind already. Um, so they were like, I'm going to be the one to do it first because I don't want my pride to get hurt. Didn't really want to do it, though, with the Knight of Swords. Um, for some of you, this person could be regretting their decision. Oftentimes with the hangman, I associate things like remorse. A fool, they might have been foolish and impulsive. Um, and the Knight of Swords is all about being impulsive, not thinking things through clearly, just reacting in the moment. Um, yeah. So, didn't really want to do it. Reacted quickly. They do feel a bit lost since they have ghosted you. Um, the fool is sitting in the middle. They've thought about you since then, Seven of Pentacles. You know, they've thought about what could have been, especially. Um, I feel like what what could have been 
to the both of you. Chances are this person will come back. There's communication coming in with the lover's card. You might bump into each other accidentally. Uh, they might drunk dial you. Uh, you, you know, they might just even ask you straight up, do you want to meet up? Do you want to talk? Like there is, you know, communication coming in and it's going to be up to you what a signs um, if you want to talk to this person. Okay, if you want to reconnect with them, it's likely that they may make some sort of comeback. Um, let's see what's going on with them now though. Okay, they have someone new in their life. Um, could be another water sign. We've got the, uh, sorry, Ace of Pentacles, sorry. Could be a um, earth sign that they have that's come up in their life. Um, okay, so they've got someone new. They're focused on a new connection here. So a new connection has taken this person away and they're in the early stages of that connection. So things are going quite strongly here. We've got the Strength card. So there's a strong attraction to someone new. Um, Queen of Pentacles, it's very likely that this person has entered a connection or a relationship. Um, do they still think about what they've done to you? They do. Nine of Swords is telling us that, you know, this person wakes up at night, thinks about you before they go to sleep. You do still cross their mind. So obviously it's affected them more than they would have liked. I do feel like this person genuinely really liked you, Water Signs. Um, Five of Wands is reversed. They don't want the drama though. For some reason, they feel like they're gonna get drama with you um, or there's gonna be something that's just gonna disappoint them. So they're like, I don't want that anymore. I'm done with it. So it's best I just leave. Five of Wands is here reverse. They're done with the drama, the immature stuff. Um, they're looking for something more serious now. You know, maybe not necessarily marriage or children or, or things like that, um, but they do want someone more emotionally committed and on some level they feel like you couldn't be that person um, but like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they still reach out and message you and, you know, say, hey, how you been? How's things with you and your ex? Or they sort of check in with you in that regard. Um, maybe it's their emotions talking. But like I said, Ace of Ace of Pentacles, I do feel like they, they do have someone next to them. And they are focused on that relationship now, especially. So if you haven't heard from them, chances are they are focused on this new connection. Um, and, you know, maybe that's just the course of destiny. You need to let that connection happen you need to let it run its course um but queen of wands um strength card a lot of ego coming up next to this person they might have even found someone else just to please their ego maybe they weren't generally genuinely interested it was more a bit of an ego boost like you know you couldn't give me what i wanted you gave me these mixed messages this drama so i'm leaving i'm doing me i'm gonna find someone else and then they find this person maybe more so out of what they get from it egotistically. You know, maybe they're used to you messaging them. They're used to you giving them compliments and whatnot and being there for them. Suddenly you're not, you know, suddenly they've backed away and now they're like, uh, okay, now what do I do? You know, now who's going to send me those good morning, good night messages? You know, who's going to be the one I send pictures to? Who's going to be the one I can flirt with and text and all those things? So, you know, it's, 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 I feel like they didn't have ego initially. I felt like they were genuinely interested. Could have been a missed opportunity for some of you, I think. Um, but for others, I do feel like this person's gonna come back around once again. It's not the end of them, I don't think. They may do this and hey, they may ghost again. If they've done it once, they may do it again. So. Yeah. Okay, um, I'll leave it at that though. What a sign. Thank you again so, so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hopefully we'll be in touch soon. So thank you again, everyone and bye for now.